Hey, hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We've got a green screen issue. Oh, not quite fixed. There we go. How's everyone doing tonight? Wouldn't be a live stream without one or two minor technical issues. We're getting everything set up today. King Randy, welcome to the stream. Good to see ya. LRJD9100. Hey, how you doing? Trio Gaming, living. Always good to see the moderators. Kalinski, good to see ya. All right, so tonight we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. I was talking to my staff team last night, and we came across this awesome little map. We were talking about a different map, actually, and... Uh, I was looking at stuff by AFB Mapping, and on his itch.io page, he released what he called a micro map. This map has a grand total of four fields on it, only one of which is of any significant size. So I'm looking forward to diving into this and I don't know, seeing if we could farm this whole map in one night. I want to do the harvest and uh, plant, see if we can do a uh, full year around. So we'll see how it goes. But we better get started if I have a hope in uh, getting this whole thing done. And so I pre-purchased a bunch of equipment for tonight. Uh, we're going to be running the uh, awesome Fent Vario here on the grain cart because it's nice and speedy. I opted to just get a couple of gravity wagons here on uh, the uh, Magnum for hauling the grain up to the one cell point on this map. And if we do get to planting like I hope, we've got an 8RX with a uh, nice uh, planter here behind it. And we've got the Patriot for spraying. Uh, it's a little ambitious. We got to get to harvesting first and see how it goes. Nubs, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Always uh, good to see the channel members here. And uh, is my sound working? I think my sound's working. Give me a second, folks. That's a little better. All right. We've got it all set up here. We are going to try and figure out how the best way is going to be to harvest this field. So I am not going to try and use course play on this giant field because I just don't think that's going to work out very well for us. So what we're going to do is uh, get a normal windows or uh, windows, get a normal farm sim worker going on the long stretch over here. And then I'm going to go grab the other combine and get started on another field. So we're going to try and uh, double uh, t double we're going to try and tag team this field with two combines or not the same field, but get guys going in different fields. And I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to work. Looks like the hired worker wants to go on the uh, straight rows here, or at least go on a, a little bit different angle than I intended. That's all right. We've got soybeans in two fields, and then we've got, uh, what do you call it, uh, corn in the other two fields, so... And yeah, Leo7477, thank you for uh, joining up here as well. Good to see you. LR, I'm going to call you 9100. How you doing? Love the videos. Appreciate the kind words, sir. Living, uh, how's the day been going? It's been going good. The kids were home from school today uh, for their midwinter break. And this is the fifth day home because between the weekend and Friday was a uh, snow day. And I just found out that tomorrow's going to be an ice day. So we're going to have uh, kids home from school for six days in a row. You know, I love my kids, but it's time to go back to school, guys. Dad needs to get some work done. So we're going to uh, we're going to see my uh, video recording routine is getting a little bit uh, wrecked here with uh, the kids home from school all day, every day. But we'll see. We'll see. Argzy Gaming, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm uh, really curious to try this map out. Oh my goodness, this uh, this combine's got some noise to it. Um, I don't, you know, this is the kind of map that I don't think I could do a let's play on. It's so small, but for a live stream, I thought it'd be a really awesome uh, map to try out here. And uh, yeah, I haven't had a chance to use the 790 with the tracks. Somebody actually commented on it in one of my videos, like, "How come you never put the tracks on the 790?" I'm like, I don't know. So here we are. Hopefully, whoever commented that is uh, <laughs> going to watch this live stream video at some point. But this one's for you. 
Uh, let's see. We're gonna do a little bit of in cab, but as always, I gotta bump the field of view out a little bit when we're in cab because if I don't, things like that happen. There we are. That was me trying to raise my header, not jump in and out of the cab. Apologies. And uh, yeah, I'm in a little bit of a rush right now, getting everything set up because I want to see if we can harvest this entire map and get it planted again in a single live stream, which is uh, going to be quite the undertaking. So let's uh, see if we can actually harvest without... Oh my gosh, we're just going to keep missing the row over there. I don't know what is my deal is. You know what? My deal is that I'm going in cab when I have no business going in cab. <clears throat> I think this one is supposed to be a... Uh, or this is a 12-row header, and I'm used to using 16-row. Uh, uh, headers on a big combines like this, I think. So that's part of the uh, the struggle here as I was anticipating a few more rows out there. Mr. Clock, how you doing? No, you, you know, you'd think that you were the jinx, but uh, I'm just running into something every time I'm driving something, so that's how it works. How you doing, man? Hopefully well. Uh, yeah, we've got a few people from Wisconsin in the... Uh, in the comments here or in the chat and uh, I'm over here in Michigan anxiously awaiting all of this horrible weather that's coming our way I saw earlier in the day that they'd already shut down all of the schools on the west side of the state uh, over by uh, Grand Rapids and stuff so I'm not surprised that uh, our schools are now closed but it's not supposed to start uh, really raining, and we're supposed to get like a half inch of ice tomorrow afternoon, which is actually quite a bit of ice. Let the animals eat the corn that I miss? That wouldn't be very fair. We're going for, well, I was going to say we're going for completionist. I'm not coming back for those four stocks. Not doing it, folks. I already reported to AFB that you can't buy headers larger than 25 feet. Yeah, I had to use the store deliveries mod and uh, set my purchase area to the other end of the map here to buy the really big stuff, but that's all right. For my other map, I should get a vintage auger. Yeah, um, I've gotten a lot of recommendations after all the struggles I've had with that, so we're going to be switching some things up next episode. I've actually got a little bit of a surprise for next episode. Um, BC Bueller sent me over a new mod uh, earlier today that I'm going to be trying out in, uh, not tomorrow's episode, but in the um, Edgewater episode. We'll be uh, trying a new drive over style auger, which should hopefully solve some of the problems we've got. And what's going to be the best way to harvest this field? Well, I don't know about the best way, but I'm going to actually give the farm sim helper a break and line it up on the rows here and let it go to town. Uh, no, I don't like this. I lied. I'm not going to do that. We're going to go. We're going to go down here and uh, do the same thing I did with the uh, soybean header and uh, try and get it going up and down the quote unquote straight rows. We're being so picky. Everything is like off on a little bit of an angle on this uh, this map. And so using the hired helpers is a not a struggle or well, it's not a struggle yet, but it looks like it could be a little bit of an adventure. Our soybeans are already at 80% uh, here, so that's all right. You're gonna have half of a field done before you even start the worker. Exactly. This field is uh, not that big, to be honest, so I'm really not too worried about it. We'll probably end up doing most of the corn harvest uh, on our own. We'll have to uh, play around a little bit with it. There's gonna be a lot of cleanup that we're gonna be doing on our end because there's just no way to expect the worker to get down here into the trees and stuff. But I'm gonna just uh, finish this head. I'm not gonna try and go all the way around. I'm gonna back up here and start the worker off 
and then I'm gonna go unload those soybeans before uh, it gets full. We gotta really keep that big combine moving because if we don't, I think that's where we're gonna lose out on our time here. So here we go. He's got uh, he's got some capacity. This guy's about full. We're gonna jump down here. The soybeans are gonna go right into this big cart. And then I'm gonna bring those two gravity wagons up for the, well, yeah, I guess we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put the soybeans in this big cart for now, and then we'll probably unload into the gravity wagons and then get this, uh, get this up by the corn again. I don't know. But we got the uh, Black Beauty Fent Vario here, and it's got the chunky tires on it. And I picked this because it is one fast little tractor. Or, it's not really a little tractor, it's a ginormous tractor. Oh, I thought you'd like that clock. All right, field three is the biggest field. Yeah, this is a, a big field. He's also going to put some perimeter trees in field three are going to get pulled back. Oh, yeah, that'd be kind of nice. I know on his itch.io page for the map, AFB was saying that this was just kind of an experiment that he did. I mean, you can see like the map borders aren't really finished and stuff. There's a, a huge area right down here in, in front of us that is just kind of a, a generic area. But if I look at the map here, all of this is actually trees and our cell point is way back over here. So there's this really narrow, janky road to get back there. And uh, when I was looking at it, I honestly didn't think that I could uh, get back there with a semi. And so that was what made me uh, decide to get the gravity wagons. I uh, do a loop-de-loop. -loop. I think we're gonna bring the gravity wagons up on top of the hill here and do all of our unloading on the top of the hill. You can see we're missing a few strips of beans because the ground is so unlevel here and we are using this giant 50 foot header, but that's all right. We're going to live with it. TK farming, a good to see ya. Oof, this thing is pulling up this hill. All right, where should I set the uh, gravity wagons off at? I'm going to probably put them right in this grass area here. I just want to make sure I'm not in the way for the combine as it comes back. Yeah, so I'm using the Honeybee header that uh, Custom Modding put out uh, for FS22. I think it's a new take on the one that they released in 19. I don't think it's quite the same mod. But it is awesome in general. It works really good on flatter fields, on these big hillsides. I don't think it's going to work quite as well, but it is what it is. Be a good cart <laughs> driver and run them over. Exactly. Got to destroy the evidence. I've got those uh, big fat tires. Could definitely do that. And so that's the, the little path to the cell point. Um, so we'll be coming back down the hill here with the gravity wagons. I figure it's easier to go up the hill when they're empty and then uh, drive them back down there when they're full. And so my plan, I believe, is to uh, get lost in the trees to put these two gravity wagons right here. Something like that. And I'm going to start dumping into them. I'm going to put corn in one and uh, we're going to put uh, soybeans in the other. I've even managed to color code line them up so that the red cart is in front where the red combine is and the green cart is in back where the green combine is. That'll work good. We're uh, crashing into all kinds of stuff today. I think that's my first physical crash though. Oh my goodness, I turned it off. One second, folks. There we go. I've uh, had to reset up all of my crash counters and all that other kind of stuff uh, since I had to rebuild my computer uh, about, a what is that, a week ago? A week and a half ago now? And so we're still in the process of uh, getting everything working again. Now, it looks like the corn combine is going to need to be emptied here so we better get running over there very quickly 
you and you were playing on this map this afternoon. Nice. Oh my, what is the uh, combine doing down here? I guess it got a little confused by this tree. Well, I guess I will spin back around. It's going to turn around here in a second and uh, we'll follow it back up. I think it can make it to the end row. And yeah, on this map, um, in this area of the world, actually, I think they do mostly hay and a little bit of corn for silage. I don't think you'd see a whole lot of soybeans growing in Vermont, but uh, I wasn't about to try and do grass in a couple of hours, so we'll see how it goes. Alex, love the videos. Always wait for the new ones to come out. Appreciate it. I'm uh, excited to be on a seven days a week schedule. We've been keeping up with it so far. Carson, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, sir. Not looking forward to two feet of snow they're calling for. It. Yeah, I was talking to my uh, dad back in Minnesota, um, and he was saying that they're expecting like 18 inches of snow here uh, in the next couple days as well. All right, let's see here. I'm about to run out of... Uh, room to unload this guy on the go. Hopefully we've made a big enough dent that he can figure out what to do next. Actually maybe we should uh, take over here and clean some areas up. The worker isn't gonna handle this tree very well. Mr. Clock, are there ch mods or changes that can be made on PC so that the harvester or grain cart will unload without you having to stay in the machine like you did when the game first came out? So the machine has to be running right now. Um, you don't have to be in it, but the machine has to be turned on and running is my understanding. Yeah, it's funny as I hear all the people talking about uh, snow and um, I don't think we're actually supposed to get any snow over the next 24 hours. I think it's all just going to be freezing rain. So it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out here in uh, southeast Michigan. Mr. Kansan, how you doing, SK? Good to see you, sir. All right, let's try this in-cab thing again. See if I can make it around under the trees here without... Uh, getting completely lost. There we go. I'm just worried about running into one of these trees on the edge. Yep, we're leaving a few stocks over here for the deer. You guys are in the 1 to 100 inch snow prediction. There you go. What am I? Oh, I'm catching the hopper on a branch. That would have been an expensive mistake. Let's see if we can work our way around that. We're leaving quite a bit of uh, corn over here in the woods. Probably would have either trimmed some of these trees up or not planted quite so close, I think, in uh, real life. But we've got the headland pass off now, so that should make it a little bit easier. And I'm glad I went up for the 790 on this. Man, we got some hills here. We need that power to get it pulling up. All right. I am going to start this worker off one more time and see if we can zip over here and unload him a little bit on the way down again. Further south, the more sleet. Yeah, the uh, we're, we're kind of just on the south side of the line, so we're expecting more of the freezing rain and sleet than uh, anything uh, like snow. And I hardly even got any unloading done here. I think we might just uh, have to take over here for a second. 
get him unloaded, and then uh, I'm gonna take off the headland passes so that the worker is a little bit uh, friendlier. And while this is unloading, let's, uh, yeah, go figure out why this happened. Looks like the worker is uh, good and stuck in all of these trees. So that's a perfect opportunity for us to jump in here and send it on its way right back uh, up on the other side over here. Maybe we'll take a headland pass off while the combine is still unloading. And I think I've got the header height control on here. Oh, course plays in the way. Why is that course play? I wish you would just save all of my settings and not have to be set up for every vehicle in every save. Open HUD with mouse is never an option I will ever want to use. Ah, oh, there we go. I can drop the header down some. I think that's going to be a good call on these fields. Keep it as low as possible so we're hopefully not missing too much as we hit the dips and valleys. I have to say, Farm Sim did a pretty good job with the... Uh, the fall colors and stuff on the trees. I do enjoy the uh, the colors. And uh, yeah, King Randy, the tracks on that uh, 790 make it a uh, lot easier to get up those hills, I feel like. We're definitely not slipping at all with that combine. Okay, let's see if I uh, bump my field of view out in cab here. Oof, that is uh, still a monster of a header. Caden, how do you get to the public server? All you got to do is join the Discord, and all the information is there in the community multiplayer uh, um, section. There's a multiplayer info channel with a pinned post that has all of the info about our uh, community multiplayer server. We run a uh, ser one server that's open to the community that's currently uh, on Western Australia, which I've been streaming on Thursday nights. So I'll be back over there on Thursday and uh, seeing how we're doing on that server, trying to keep up with the uh, ArgZ Gaming's uh, server. I have to catch up. I didn't get a chance to watch ArgZ's last stream. Uh, I'm sleeping usually when he's streaming. And so I got to go back and watch that video and see how his server is doing because I think we might be a little bit behind. We uh, we started off without uh, some of the mods that they've got. And so we've made a, a few additions to keep things uh, uh, fair, make sure we're doing apples to apples. And uh, we've had a lot of people on the server the last few days. So I love uh, when I'm uh, checking on the server to, to update mods and stuff and you see, you know, six, eight people logged on at a time. It's been a lot of fun to see people excited and on there and playing. And so uh, I'm excited to hop back over onto that server Thursday night. We'll be uh, streaming there again. I have no idea what job there's going to be, but we're going to be on it. And I think with one headland pass off over here we can set the worker going back down the field and i can go get this uh john deere combine moving so let's see if i can get this guy lined up here something like this there we go i think i found the right line And with this guy, I think I need to go take some headland passes off, so let's get this pipe put away. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Good to see you, man. We are uh, trying out this new map tonight that I just came across by AFB Modding, and it's kind of a, a cool four-field map. It looks kind of neat. And so we're going to be uh, trying to farm the whole thing tonight in a single live stream. Should be fun. Andrew, will I ever go back to the Louisiana map? 
that's where you're from enjoyed that little series i did yeah i did a uh, couple of live streams on that map i don't think i i don't remember if i was doing a full series over there or not um i always meant to get back to that map after they added um the rest of the functionality i know that there was some rice mechanics coming and some other things and uh, i never got back to that i don't know if um if that map ever got finished or not i'm gonna have to check in on that though it looks like I took a headland pass over here. I completely forgot all about it. So let's jump back over here. I don't need to get those two rows. There's tons of deer over there eating it already. Alex, welcome to the uh, channel. Appreciate you joining up as a member. And uh, since we've had a few people join as a member tonight, uh, remember that uh, if you connect your YouTube account to your Discord account, and if you have a Discord account and you join the Kedrick Farms Discord server, you're going to be able to get access to not only the members only uh, chat channels, but also we have a handful of members only server. We're running Chilliwack in UMRV right now. We might stand up a uh, third server here if uh, the, a new map comes out that people are interested in. And let's get going up this hill here. LRJD, I have not really gotten much into the monster truck uh, circuit. My uh, my youngest is uh, interested but afraid of them, so we haven't really uh, spent too much time uh, with monster trucks. Paul, doing a great job on the farm. Keep it up with all the uh, great work on YouTube. Awesome, sir. I appreciate the kind words. I have to say, uh, there are times where the new schedule has seemed a little bit grueling. I've been uh, trying to get a video out every single day, and we've, for the most part, succeeded over the last few weeks, except for those days where I couldn't actually access my Google account, but I'm past that. We're uh, doing good, and we're, we've actually even been posting uh, three videos a week over on the other YouTube channel. So if you ever want to check out uh, some non-farm sim content, I've been uh, playing, well, I'm playing Icarus right now, but survival slash base building type games over there. So lots of fun to be at. All right, let's see if I can do this without uh, taking out the fence, I suppose. Come on. There we go. I think our other combine is probably getting full soon. I don't see that it's actually harvesting anymore. So my guess is it got stuck on something somewhere, probably a tree. But I'm gonna get this pipe out. We're gonna um, get down to the end row here and I'm just gonna set him in front of the uh, green gravity wagon here. And then I'm gonna go figure out what's going on with this other combine. Here we go, here we go. I guess I got my pipe out a little early. I thought we were a smidge closer. I didn't realize there was so many curves. I have to say I've been uh, really enjoying uh, my whole stream on a different map every Tuesday uh, plan that we kind of put into place a few weeks back. It gives me a chance to try some new things and uh, try some new mods and do different things that I wouldn't normally get a chance to do in the course of my day to day. And I realized uh, after I posted my thumbnail like that uh, some people might think I'm trying to do uh, my farming unrealistically or something on this playthrough, but we're using uh, normal, legit mods here. I'm not trying to cheat my way into getting all of this done in uh, two hours. We're using legitimate equipment. It's just grossly oversized for the uh, size farm that we've got here. But that's half of the fun. I really need to uh, get that other combine up here and clear the headland. Oh, don't go into the trees so that I can uh, drive around this uh, tractor without going into the crops here. All right, here we go. 
we gotta get uh, the corn out of this because that other oh that other combine is actually still driving it's just full all right it was probably just turning around All right, I'm not catching up with chat very good. Clock, appreciate you uh, stopping by, sir. You and I need do need to uh, catch up soon. And, uh, oh no, we're full. The corn isn't out of this thing. I didn't think about that. All right, well, that's gonna put a dent in my plans. Let's get the combine with the corn going here again on the, the log rows. And then we'll go figure out where this uh, other combine got held up. Let's see, let's see. I think there's just enough room to squeeze by this tree without getting hung up with the hopper on anything. There we go. And down here to find out what's going on. Yeah, oh man, this thing really got uh, confused. Well, let's uh, see if we can get out of here. This hill is uh, something else. Oh, we're barely making it up here. Come on. So I don't dare drive the gravity wagons down that steep of a hill. So I think what I'm going to do is bring this guy up here and then we'll unload him up here before I send him back down. That's what I think I'm going to do. Something like that. Run, run, run. I think this thing's got plenty of power to be able to uh, pull these gravity wagons up the hill. Trio, maybe I could do a throwback Tuesday and go back to FS19 and play the Millennial Farmer map. Maybe at some point. I don't know. I'm... I still think that that map's pr a version of that map is going to come out for FS22 at some point. So I'm holding out hope. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, goodness. Well, this is barely making a dent. So what I'm going to do is set up a auto drive course now, I think, on the way to the cell point so that we can uh, keep this guy moving and grooving. So if we open this up, I'm actually going to set it up all the way out into this area. We're going to say record um, field. We'll just call it field. We don't have that many. Uh, <laughs> we don't have that many fields. We don't need more than uh, one point right now. We're just going to do it. Farmer Tech, I should do this with multiplayer. This would this would have been a fun multiplayer stream to set up and uh, just to have people join. Unfortunately, I've got uh, too many junk mods in my mod folder that I feel like going through. Because so I could have just uh, put a handful of mods on here that were all available on the in-game mod hub. And then uh, um, had everybody just join like as an ad hoc server. That would have been a lot of fun. This is the jankiest path I've driven in a long time. Let's see if we can actually get through here without catching the grain cart on any of these trees. Oh, we're barely pulling it up this hill. It's five miles an hour or we're not going to make it. Wow. I thought sure that this uh, Magnum would have enough power to do this. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, uh, Farmer boy, I'll show off the PDA as soon as we get up to the cell point here. Where uh, I don't want to interrupt my auto drive course here. We're almost there. The trees are uh, serious here. They're uh, done in such a way as to really promote in cab driving. It feels like. Yeah, I should have put the fent on the. Uh, gravity wagons apparently this thing is oh wow not gonna have enough power to do this i might need to pick up one more uh uh grain cart just so that i've got one for each crop type we'll see 
I don't think I'm gonna need to. I think we're gonna be, I think we're gonna be okay. All right, we can do it. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna circle because that's such a steep angle there and I wasn't expecting the cell point to be where it is. I'm gonna circle around this way. And I'm gonna dump the soybeans out first and then I'm gonna pull ahead and make the uh, cell point uh, point a little bit further up so I can get the second cart dumped as well. Oh my goodness, this is a slow unload too. We didn't think this through very well when we grabbed these uh, gravity wagons, did we? Uh, yes, Farmer Tech, this is a PC only map. This was something that AFB released. As, it was just something he was doing for fun, I think, and testing some things out and decided to release it. If you give me a second, we'll open up the, uh, the map here. And so the map consists of four fields. This big field here, this little tiny one over here that I did in about three passes. Uh, we've got a, a medium-sized field here and a little tiny field up here as well. Um, I can't show off the actual field areas here. When we get back to the field, I can show them off though. Um, they're not that big. Field three is the only, uh, the only big one here. And while this guy is unloading, I guess I can uh, uh, tab around here for a second. Hang on. Here we go. We were gonna start the worker off on this guy. There it is. And if I hop out here, you can see this is 64 acres. No, 21 acres, 21.3 acres for that field. And this field is 12.18. Uh, so not very big. Oh man, the soybeans are still going. King Randy, because it's a case, yeah, this thing is... Uh, I got the 380. I should have gone up to the 400. I just didn't want to deal with the gears tonight. We got the... Uh, was it the CBT? Oh, I'm not recording because I tabbed out of it. Let's go up here. Hit that. And let me do cell point. And I should probably bring that node forward a bit. Like so. If I get another grain cart, you could uh, use the base game 9620R. I could. I've got some other mods installed on the server here that I could use. Okay, well, that's going to take forever, so let's uh, jump back here and see how this guy's going. He's going. Man, look at the uh, angle on this, though. That is a uh, serious incline. I don't think you'd actually drive a uh, combine like this up that steep of an incline. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's insane. Good deal. All right, the... Uh S790 is getting close to full, so I'm going to jump over here into this guy, our Fent, and see if we can go get him unloaded. Once he turns around here. We are going to have to uh, take back over here with that uh, case combine, the Axial Flow, and do some of that combining manually, I think because there's a lot of uh, wonky areas on this field, a lot of trees in the middle of it and such that we're going to have to help handle, I suspect. We started with a million dollars, so I should actually probably do that. I should get rid of the um, million dollars that I had in the bank when we started, because I'm kind of curious to see what we end up making harvesting all these fields. So let me do that real quick. Remove one million dollars. Oh, 
hopefully I can actually get this combine fully emptied out here before the end and I'll jump back over to that magnum and get the auto drive course brought all the way back up here. This I'm crowding in a little close to the combine. Not used to driving a tractor with these uh, big chunky tires. Yeah, I suppose I could just check the uh, harvest income. I'm kind of curious to see. I've got my worker income in there, too, so we'll see how much money all of this is costing us. All right. So let's get this back down to the end. I love that the tires kind of look squishy in the, on the back of the tractor there. It's a nice little visual effect. Ooh, the turning on these hills, though, is sometimes a little suspect. All right, let's jump back into this guy. Oops, I shut him off. Again, get our auto drive course done so we don't have to mess with this guy again. There it is. Whoa. Okay, this was just terrible. Try again. Oh no, oh no, we've made a horrible mess of things. Okay. Not you, I wanted you. You need to get reconnected. Okay, is everybody happy now? Except for the fact that I'm connected to the wrong path. There we go. Oh, auto drive. Why do you do this to me? And... Connect, will ya? There we go. Alright. Problem solved. My goodness. I really don't care about this course because we're not going to be playing on this map again, I don't think, but uh, I could have probably just uh, done a two-way course on uh, this and recorded it once and not uh, had to do what I'm doing right now, but that's all right. We can just zip back down here. We're mostly downhill at this point, so coming back up with the empty wagons is a whole lot easier. D-Max, how you doing, man? Good to see ya. Oh yeah, we're flying now. Yeah, Charlie, the hills are crazy. Gotta get there. Oh, we parked right on the uh, auto drive course, nice. Well, that's all right. We'll fix that in a second. And... Boom. Whoa, what happened? We got super speed on from when I ran halfway across the map. And if I just grab this one, connect it to that one and change this mode to pick up and deliver. Um, I'm gonna do corn, cause I got the most corn in the wagon at the moment. And we're just gonna have to alternate, it looks like. Can't uh, handle multiple crops, it doesn't look like. Field and sell point, go. Might as well zip over here and see if I can unload a little bit more of this corn before we get to the end row. Doesn't look like I'm going to even get to him in time. Wishful thinking on my part. Oh, we'll get a few bushels out of there. And we've got the annoying uh, auto drive edit mode on, so let's drop that out here. 
Silver Brew, how you doing? Hopefully you're enjoying the multiplayer server. I know we've had a, a lot of people on there lately. Trio, have a good one. And let's see, I got 678 bushels and not enough weight in the front. Oh, stop. Oh, we're clearing out the beans. All right, let's see if I can fix our weight problems. Why do I have a three-point attachment on the front of this thing? I bet you anything I can put some front weights on here. Um, wheels, yes, I know. Steering handle, what is a steering handle? Okay, no. Quick hitch, no, that's not it. Cooler, beacons, no. Fenders. I can't adjust the front weights on the front. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess I could put a front weight on the front, but where's the fun in that? All right, well, I guess we'll just uh, run with what we've got here. We'll have to be a, a little bit more careful on these uh, big hills. I'm down with that. I love the unload speed on this thing. I wonder if I don't need to do pick up and deliver though. Maybe I'm just using the wrong mode here. What if we've got, yeah, there we go. Load, well, that's load. Oh no, that's not what I want. Uh, field cell point, there we go. But I don't want to unload a combine. I just want it to do its thing. Eh, we're just gonna do this field cell point, corn, go, good enough. We'll just load both with the same crop and then we'll switch again. I could probably get a second tractor and uh, have one doing the corn and one doing the soybeans and just always alternating and then get two grain carts. That'd probably be the way to do it. And I'm just noticing that our case combine is no longer on my inspector mod down there. So we're gonna need to uh, figure out what happened to him. We're coming up on 45 minutes in, and we're most of the way done with the cornfield here. And yikes, maybe halfway done with the soybeans over there. So I got to get on that soybean field or we're, uh, we're going to be hurting here. Because I think it's going to take us uh, all of the next hour to do all of our uh, planting here. The plan is to alternate and put uh, soybeans in the fields that had corn and corn in the fields that had beans. I think that's going to be our measure of success here tonight. Oh, looks like we've got him empty. This should be just enough, I think, to send those uh, gravity wagons on their way. We'll see, we'll see. Got a lot of cleaning up to do in this field, though, once uh, the hired help is done doing whatever it's doing. It's not doing the greatest job out here, is it? Oh, goodness. Here we go, here we go. All right, let's go find that combine. I wish I'd put the uh, tabbing mod on here. Oh, we did, uh, well, we're not hung up on a tree. It looks like we actually finished this side of the field, so. Let's grab this little bit here and go get started on the other end. No need to choose one grilling type when you manually filling them. Yeah, I'm just, is that, um, is it going to sell though if I don't pick a grain type is what I don't know. Here we go, here we go. All right, good enough, let's go. I'm gonna try and uh, clean up this bit by the trees here while the 790 fills up on a little bit more corn. We definitely want to uh, maximize what we're doing here, but I'm gonna need to start unloading these beans soon. Oh, it's gonna do it? All right, well, we'll try that on the next one because I do need to uh, unload some beans on the next haul here, I think, so. 
it'll be good to mix it up a little bit. Turn these beacons off before they drive me nuts. And right into the next row we go. We're gonna try and uh, find our way around these trees. I should probably grab a uh, GPS heading on this at some point as well, so that when we're manually doing a little bit of this, I can get started back on the right angle and not monkey around with the helper. We'll see if I can find said angle here. I should have paid a little bit more attention when the, way the worker was doing its thing earlier, but it looks like we're about on that angle now. That yeah, feels just about right. 22 degrees, 23 degrees, somewhere in there. Well, let me get onto the next swath once we get up to the top here. I'm gonna cut over so we don't hit all these trees on the way up. Yeah, we've got some red combines tonight, and we got those uh, nice beefy tires on here. I know you like the uh, floaters there, uh, living. I'm going to get full. I could have put uh, bigger hoppers on these combines, but I just like the factory folding hopper styles. Farmer Tech, you're going to give Course Play and Auto Drive a try in your next series. I have to say, um, depending on what you're trying to do, those mods have come a long way, and uh, I don't think I could play solo without them. I, I just don't think I would have that much fun anymore without uh, playing with uh, Course Play and Auto Drive. Yeah, nubs, I saw that we've got uh, all kinds of... Uh, Colors of the rainbow for the equipment on the uh, multiplayer server. Oh, my phone is blowing up. What's going on? More notifications about school being uh, canceled. Joy. Well, yeah, you guys already called and texted me, so I don't need any more. We're going to be at uh, almost 80% uh, here, so I need to go figure out why that corn combine stopped so I can get the gravity wagons moving again here, because we are going to be in all kinds of waiting mode soon if we don't get going. Um, you know what? These beans aren't uh, that voluminous. I'm going to start this back down the next path with the worker. Oh, I forgot to set the width on my GPS track. Uh, Farmer Tech, we are not getting any snow yet, but we're supposed to get a whole bunch of uh, freezing rain tomorrow afternoon. We're expecting like a half inch of ice on everything uh, overnight tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Here's the worker. And Mr. Combine, what is your deal? Mr. Simulation, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Always good to see you, sir. There we go. Let's go see if I can catch up with him and get enough corn to send this auto drive guy back on his way. You guys are getting 20 inches of snow? Wow. That seems like a little much. And yeah, I always prefer snow over ice. So I am kind of glad they canceled schools just because I don't want my teenager out there driving on all that ice, but I'd also like my kids to be going to school because they've missed so much school over the last uh, bit here. It's getting out of hand.
going to be in the 70s there tomorrow. Crazy. All right, I'm unloading this guy just so that I can uh, make sure we top off that uh, gravity wagon and get it going here. I think I'm going to have to get one more grain cart so that I can unload both combines with different crop types in them because this is uh, starting to be a problem, although I guess I'm almost done with corn. So let's just send that guy on his way. We're running over all kinds of uh, corn on the headlands. Oh, oh my goodness, we're on the fence. Whoops. My bad. And that bean, man, we're almost full up on the beans there. Look at that, that big old mound. Breaks. All right, even if this doesn't fill it up, I think we've got to send it on its way. In fact, I'm hoping it doesn't fill it up so that I can get this grain cart empty. Squeeze past these big tires and go sell your stuff. Hop back into the fence. Let's go empty out a uh, combine here. Here we go. At least we're up here on the right end. Oh, we didn't estimate the amount of uh, turn radius we'd need there very well. Oh, 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 I saw the nudge. I saw the nudge. We're bumping into everything tonight, folks. Keegan, you guys are expecting ice and snow as well? Yeah. Seems like a huge swath of the uh, Midwest is going to get hammered uh, for the rest of this week. I feel like uh, this combine unloads faster than that 790. We'll see. There we go. Oh, I didn't get lined back up very well here. Let's see if we can adjust. There it is. Send that worker back on its way, see how far it can get, and go figure out why the combine's all bent out of shape again. Yeah, I have to say I'm probably about done with winter, personally. We've had a couple of good storms this year, and uh, we got lucky enough to have snow over Christmas, which is always a pleasant experience, especially with the kids. And now, eh, I'm just kind of over it. I'm ready for spring. Yeah, we are almost done with this field, and we don't have that much corn in our uh, combine. I'm seeing that the auto drive driver still has a minute 46 to get to that cell point, it looks like. Oh no, he's at the cell point. He's got a minute 46 till he gets back. All right, that's not too bad. I see the corn going down there. I like this inspector mod when you're trying to do a lot of stuff with different vehicles. You've got a lot of automation and things going. It works out a lot, or really well. I wish I wanted to move it, though. I, I forgot to figure out how to put it in a different spot. Matthew Walter, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. It's going well tonight. We were, um, I have to say, I'll complain for a second. I hate complaining. Uh, but I was running a fever of 101.5 for almost 24 hours. Uh, most of the day yesterday and a good chunk of the day today. And uh, my fever has come down. It's un about 100 now, so I'm, I'm a little under the weather today. But uh, I don't know. I was just so excited to jump in here and play around with this map and challenge myself to do something different that I'm trying not to let it bother me. 
take a few meds and get to it. Oh, that's right. You, Jim, I think you even told me that in a previous stream. I can move it in the menu. How do I get to the menu for that? Menu. Do, 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 do. Is it in this menu? That's precision farming. Simple IC, manual, AI. Where is it at? It's not there. Simple inspector, here we go. Um, wait, bottom right above speedometer. Nope, top left under help, top right under clock. There we go, let's try that. Oh, perfect, that's where it belongs. I dig it. Thank you, sir. That will uh, stop stressing me out so much. I hate when there's stuff like in the middle of the screen. Things belong uh, docked to the corners. So let's see, I'm gonna go all the way over here and of course now I'm looking down there to find it, but it looks like we're unloading the second gravity wagon now, so that's good. Things are moving. Soybeans are still going up, means that combine's not stuck. Yeah, we're in a good spot now. I'm just gonna grab as much of this corn as I can. We're kind of taking some headlands off here. I think before I go do that spot, we will we'll try and get all of this. This combine is uh, a little bit louder than the other one. There we go. Oh, I guess I should be over some now. I'm going to have a few rows that I have to pick up. Probably could have got a uh, GPS track set up over here too, but I'm too lazy. We're almost done. Yet, yeah, especially on the multiplayer servers, this mod comes in really handy too. Being able to see where people are at and what they're doing is always nice. But I love that it's got the auto drive integration and it gives me kind of an estimate of how long of a drive they've got to get back to you. So once it's unloaded, I know he's probably got a minute and 46 seconds to get back to me is how I'm interpreting that uh, time there. I could be wrong. Maybe that's, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, now I've got rows on either side. Look at me. I'm uh, really with it tonight. Let's uh, get over here. Pick up the stragglers. All right, we've... Uh, Probably more knocked to that row down than actually harvested it doing things at that angle, but it is what it is. Get down over here. So let's see, our axial flow's not even half full yet. Oh, it just finished, which means it's probably stuck somewhere. And our gravity wagons are back, which is awesome. So let me start the worker off here. And go grab this guy. We'll go see if I can find the axial flow down here. Hopefully I can get him running again and then uh, unload him on the way back up this path right here. I have no idea why he's way over there. No idea whatsoever. Alright, is this thing going to be able to stop on the hill or not? Alright, there we go. All right, bub, time for you to uh, come back to reality over here. Probably couldn't handle turning around with this little grass strip here. So uh, what I'm going to do is take you up here until we find the edge of uh, the longer part of the field. And then once I can get a worker going for you, 
we'll go grab that grain cart and start him off. Or start you off on a helper and unload you with the grain cart. I think that's the plan. Although there's not a whole lot left here, so I'll probably just harvest it. And then, uh, I don't know. We're running out of spots where I think a worker can actually handle doing anything. But, uh, yeah, we probably should have got the 16-row corn head on the big 790. I just wanted to use the uh, modded one by JHHG Modding um, rather than... I think the base game is the only 16-row John Deere corn head, at least that I know of. But there, I guess I could use it. It's a fine-looking corn head. I think... If I uh, come back on this part that we missed right there, once I get past the trees, the worker could go for a while on the other part of that field. So I think that's our plan tonight. Try and uh, get this guy going over here. We're at the hour mark. I was kind of hoping to be done with at least the cornfield at this point. And I mean, for all intents and purposes, we are. We just got a lot of cleanup. And so we got to start uh, moving the clock forward here. And I want to get into some planting and uh, moving time forward and stuff here. So we'll see. So this one's got height control on it. Um, I've got it lowered all the way down. All right, here we go. I guess I could turn these flashers off there. Kind of annoying me given that we're not even full. And I think we're at just a smidge more of an angle here, something like that. If I start the helper off now, let's see if I can get swung around here fast enough to unload you a little bit. Probably would have been faster to stay where I was. Yep. But we're going to roll down the hill faster than uh, the Combine can drive. Nope, nope, stop. Oh no, I just got ate by the hood. Alright, let's uh, finish unloading here actually because I want to be able to send that uh, gravity wagons back on their way, so I want to get at least a full hopper of uh, soybeans here. There we go. And... I'm going to grab GPS here since we're going to get around this tree on our own real quick, hopefully. I think what I'll do is I'll back all the way up here and we'll grab this little bit on this side of the tree. There we are. And then we can send him around and get him back on the appropriate course and let the worker do what the worker's going to do. I don't even know what to expect when I uh, start him off here on the next pass, so... I'm just gonna grab all the way around the tree as long as we're here. Hopefully I, that makes it so I don't have to come back and do that again later. And we're on the right path here, hopefully. Looks good. So GPS is going off, helpers going on. And let's get unloading this grain cart. Oh, I didn't think we were gonna make that turn. Very nice, very nice. Now this guy is even struggling getting up some of these hills with a uh we got six hundred and seventy-three bushels of soybeans in here, I suppose. Our John Deere Combine is uh, all turned off here. He must have got to the end of those short rows he was working on over there. Hopefully he's finished them.
I don't think the uh, big floaters on the tractor are actually destroying the crops. I think it's just the trailer. I'm not sure, though. It didn't look like they were getting destroyed from the uh, big tires, though. Could be mistaken. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That was uh, not what we planned. Hopefully I didn't break the axle on that uh, gravity wagon there. It'd be unfortunate if we have to uh, deal with that. The uh, hills and the lack of brakes on this uh, fence are uh, both very troublesome for me. I, d I would definitely need a front weight on here if I were going to keep driving it. Oh, we're 23 bushels sh uh, too much. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest in there. And then uh, let's go um, deal with this combine. It looks like he decided to turn not towards the rest of the crops, but into the middle of the field. How awesome of you, sir. I don't know what your uh, goal was coming over here, but it is what it is. But yeah, that back wagon is just toast. They're probably both toast after I ran into the side of it like that. Yeah, it'll be fun someday in the future when uh, simulation games get uh, even better is that we'll be able to have um, actual damage and stuff when you're driving around. I think it'd be kind of cool to have a ultra realistic mode where you crashed into something that had real da uh, damage on it, but I could be wrong. Maybe it would just be plain annoying. Faber Farming, how you doing, man? Oh, welcome to the stream. There we go. Alright, I've got this little bit around the tree up here, and then, uh, is that it? I think we might be done. I think so, I think so. Field 1 complete. Or, actually, I think this is like field 3, but whatever. Or field 2, sorry. See if I can squeeze under here without catching the hopper on the branches again. Once for the once uh, stream is good enough to wreck any given piece of equipment. Yeah, some of these uh, trees could use just a little bit more buffer around them, I suppose. All right, I'm not seeing a whole lot of other corn. There's, I mean, the stray stock here and there missing, but I'm not too worried about that. So I'm gonna park this guy right over here on the corner of this field with his auger out so that we can uh, come and unload him at a later time since we've got soybeans in both of these trailers now. Yep. So let's take this guy down here and check in on our uh, faithful combine on the other end of the map. Make sure he's not getting into too much trouble down here. Check the back side of this hill. Yeah, there's a couple of spots like this that we didn't end up harvesting. I don't know that there's a lot we can do with that. Looks like the combine's trying to back all the way up the field. That doesn't look very efficient. All right, well, let me uh, let me hop over here and save him from himself. No, please, no. I'll take over from here. Thank you. We're almost done with this uh, section of the field, though, which is pretty exciting. If anything, I guess I can say that we at least harvested the entire field, or the entire map, in under two hours. I do at least want to jump over into this uh, planter and see how well it's going to work on uh, some of these hills, because I'm currently shopping around for some uh, different equipment that might work a little bit better on UMRV. 
as we progress and get newer equipment on the map at some point because uh, that map has some pretty serious uh, hills and ditches as well. All right, all right. Well, let's see. I think this is actually a uh, normal swath here, so if I can find the GPS track, I think I can take the whole thing in once. Oh, look at that. Oh, maybe not quite. Let's see. Um, we got to scooch over just a here, hair here. I think the worker might have got uh, off center when I was running him for a few rounds. That's all right. Look at that. Doing good. Yeah, I have to say, it's been an exciting time in FarmSim 22 with all the different maps that have been coming out. I've been really enjoying playing on both the uh, UMRV and Edgewater Saskatchewan. And it sounds like there's actually a handful of really exciting maps uh, in development by some other modders too. So hopefully at an appropriate time in the future when I'm run through my paces on the two series we're running, there'll be some other cool maps coming out. I'm really looking forward to getting some more uh, good multiplayer maps at some point that are well suited for, you know, four plus uh, people on a map. The American Fall by Lancy Boy, that one's looking good. American Falls, I think. Lane, how many fields do I have left? We have a one little tiny field up on the north side of the map here after this one. And it's going to take me all of about uh, one minute to harvest when we get up there, I think, or even less. It's probably one time around the field and we'll be done with this giant header. So this field is most of the way done. Let me uh, see if I can look at the map here real quick. We've got this little section down here in the bottom left to do. So we're just about there. Just about there. All right, let's see. We're at 65%. Yeah, we got plenty of uh, capacity. I don't know where I left the uh, grain cart. I think I drove him down here somewhere. Yep, there he is, way down at the bottom of the hill there. We'll pick up this little bit that I missed the previous time. I guess I didn't miss it, I just didn't get to it. And then I think I'm going to be doing the rest of this by hand, because I don't expect the worker to be able to do much around all these trees. That's alright. I am curious what course play would have done on a field like this. I just think it would have uh, froze. I don't think it could have calculated a path on something like this, probably. That's all right. Sometimes it's just fun to do the farming a little bit more the old school way. Can't uh, rely on automation for all aspects of the game. I really, really want to get my uh, steering wheel running again. It's just uh, not in a convenient spot the way my office is laid out now. I got to finish getting this other part of the office uh, set up for it. Because uh, this kind of uh, field where everything is just super curvy, that would be a lot of fun to do if I had the steering wheel going right now. It feels like that hopper is a lot fuller than 77% right now. It just looks like I should be sitting at almost 100%. Uh, Farmer Tech, you can control those settings just like in auto drive where you can choose to pay a worker fee or not so it's completely adjustable actually you can set it up to pay more um, than you do with a base game worker so you can do, uh, do what you want with those I generally leave the uh, course play and auto drive worker costs on when I play I find it's uh, realistic to expect to pay some amount of money to the 
uh, computer helpers. But at the same time, uh, helper fees are kind of steep in farm sim. So, you know, if you got a lot of stuff going on, sometimes we turn it off. I know we turn it off on the multiplayer servers. Ryan, how you doing, man? Oh, welcome to the stream. Always good to see you, sir. Man, I was kind of thinking I'd get all of this done before I got full, but now I'm, uh, I'm wondering. We're getting close. We got just enough down there that I wish I'd, uh, turned around and got it before coming all the way back up here. Hey, Luke, how's it going? Yeah, Farmer Tech, we're not going to make it. I, I'm feeling I'm feeling you there. Okay, so do I ever steal grain from contracts? Well, when you do a contract, sometimes the um, there's some leftover, and so I do usually hang on to that. But uh, I don't find... I guess you could do the contract and then cancel it and keep the grain, maybe? I don't know how that would work, actually. But I've never actually done that, so no. Feels like a lot of work for a, um, I guess, substandard uh, uh, yield rate, typically, on contract fields, where I'd rather just uh, sell the grain and then accept the reward. I feel like the reward is usually more than what the grain would have paid out for. Oh no, we got full. Wasn't watching the uh, dial there. Alright, let's park you on that hill precariously. And we'll get you unloaded here real quick. And finish off these last little bits. We're almost there. With enough time to start planting. Yeah, we needed that front weight, that's for sure. Alright, let's see here. It's got a nice cab on this thing, I will say that never actually gotten in one of these in real life be kind of fun to drive I got two joysticks oh that'd be confusing makes you pay it back in cash Tim oh well there you go that's why I probably never tried it farmer tech I always appreciate when you swing by the stream hope you have a good evening we will uh, catch you next time guess I don't need to start this up we're not quite emptied yet Let's go, let's go. I'm impatient. I want to finish this up. We've got to rock that time forward and uh, see if I can do a little bit of planting before uh, everything wraps up here tonight. We might grab... Well, I don't know. I kind of want to see how it does in this really curvy field, so we might actually plant this field. I don't know if I'll get this field planted in a half an hour, but we'll give it our best shot. Yeah, Luke, I, I have to say I I don't typically run red, but this combine is nice looking, and I haven't been in the cab a lot tonight, a little bit, but it's just a really well done machine. It's looking snazzy. All right, is that everything? Let me look at the map real quick. Um, That's everything we're going to get. That was the part that... Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Oh my goodness, we're crashing into everything tonight. Um, that's all we're going to get. So let's put the hogger out here. Let's get the last of this unloaded. And we'll move time forward and get into, uh, get into doing some planting here. Uh, case and why is this map not on console? So I believe this was just a, um, 
like a little bit of a test that AFB modding was doing with some different things and decided to release it out to the public, uh, even though he doesn't, I don't think he really plans on finishing it or doing a whole lot more with it. And so um, I'm sure that that's why he doesn't want to go through the um, rigorous process of trying to get something deployed to the in-game mod hub when it's just kind of a, a one-off testing map. I believe AFB modding is uh, working on a kind of a, I don't want to say a port, a reimagining of the Medicine Creek map, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm kind of looking forward to that project. He's been releasing some larger maps in the past, and so I'll be curious to see um, how this big project he's working on right now goes. I think he's done, this is his third or fourth map that I'm playing on. And... Um, some of his other maps, I've, I've briefly checked them out, and they're interesting. Um, not necessarily my my style always, um, but this one was actually pretty well polished for how small it was. I was surprised. Um, it, uh, the one thing that bug, always bugs me on maps is the lack of a, a map border in some areas, but since it's got so many trees and things around it, um, you don't really notice that except at the bottom of this field. So, I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying... Uh, enjoying this little map for a one-off uh, video like this. Yeah, it's going to be a 10-kilometer uh, map. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty big. There we go. This thing's an absolute monster when it's unloading. Ooh, is it all going to fit in here? I don't know. Hopefully. There we go. All right, so I need to get these uh, vehicles out of the way here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just park them over here at our little shed. So I guess I didn't do a, uh, much of a normal map tour on this since we were rushing to try and uh, get everything done here in the stream, but we got this really cool little shed over here. Um, so I'll jump out here and open some doors. We've got... Uh, the ability to kind of pull in from either side. So I do like how this is laid out. We've even got the utility door here. So that's pretty cool. And there's a couple of different uh, farmhouses on the map here, but um, I'm not sure exactly where they both were. I, I saw them earlier when I was on here. Let me get this guy going up to the cell point. And I'll finish getting everything else ready here. I think the plan is going to be to plant in this big field that we just got done, the soybean field here. Oh, I do have one more field of soybeans. That's right. I forgot all about that. Um, well, let's go ahead and, I guess, harvest that real quick before we move the time forward too fast. Let's see if I can get this combine up to the top of the hill. But yeah, TMO, I'm really hoping that it's one of those maps where you've got the ability to do some large scale farming, but you've also got the smaller scale farming as well. Um, that's what makes uh, maps perfect for multiplayer, in my opinion, is when you can kind of mix it up and have uh, a little bit of something for everybody. We gotta make it up the hill. This thing's uh, actually quite the champ when you're not harvesting. It's got plenty of power. The tires probably help quite a bit with uh, making it not so uh, feel so tippy on uh, some of these hills too. We were there were some pretty big uh, leans on these hills. Yeah, I almost forgot about this little field up at the top of the map. We probably could have got uh, all the soybeans from this other field into uh, into that gravity wagon as well, but that's all right. Yeah, I think uh, I'm trying to remember. There's, I think, one more house back down at the end of this road. Or is it, um, yeah, there's a house down there, I think. 
And then we got the sell point is right up here, but uh, I use the the store deliveries mod to spawn all my equipment down on the other end of the map. And as you can see, this uh, field is not going to take much. Uh, this is the 50 foot header. I didn't put the, I think it's an experimental one that's a little bit wider, the 60 foot. Um, I didn't want to mess with that. I thought that might be a little bit much on this field. I could have got an X9, but uh, I almost always run with the X9, so we're trying to mix it up a little bit lately and uh, try some of the other mods that are out there. Oh, we're getting uh, more beans off of this field than I expected, actually. Probably wouldn't have fit in the gravity wagon. I don't think I'm going to fit between those trees, though. <laughs> I mean, I think if I was realistically playing this map, I'd be running uh, much smaller equipment, most likely, so... Although, also, if I was playing this map, I probably wouldn't have run a planter in between these two trees. I would have uh, probably just planted around it out here, or cut this tree down, more likely. We are skipping with the uh, header occasionally here. Bouncing over some of the beans in certain angles. Let's see if I can manage to do this maneuver without crashing into anything. We're so close with that uh, auger back there. Oh, looks like the beans have all sold, making some more money. Very nice. I'm just going to run across here and pick it up. Cody Farms, how you doing, man? Appreciate it. We've been having a ton of fun uh, putting the videos out lately. We're I'm loving both of the series we're doing. Sometimes I'm not necessarily in love with uh, uh, a series when I'm doing it, but you know, you're trying to stick with something and not just uh, start over every uh, few minutes. And why is this header just uh, doing such a terrible job here all of a sudden? But uh, I'm loving the series that we're working on right now. I think yeah, they're uh, both excellent maps and we got some really cool mods that we're getting to play around with. So I'm glad everybody's enjoying them so much. Yeah, we just made a uh, mess out of that part of the field, though. My goodness. I guess that's one of the drawbacks of getting such a big header to try and uh, knock all of this out. So we're, what is it, it's 10.30, so we're an hour and a half in, and I'm on, you know, essentially the last uh, couple of minutes here of the last field, so we've managed to harvest the entire map in less than two hours. We obviously won't get uh, everything reseeded and stuff here, but we'll, we'll get a jump into it, I think. So not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm, uh, I'm glad I found, I came across this map. This was uh, one of those things that just kind of came to my attention at the last minute. And we uh, I decided to run with it on the live stream here. So that's been a lot of fun. Dirt bikes, you've, uh, you're installing Windows on your Mac so you can get to the mods easier. Very nice. Yeah, I've had a very limited uh, exposure to using uh, Max for anything. Not my cup of tea. I was an iPhone user for exactly one iPhone and couldn't wait to get back onto an Android device. And I had a MacBook for a little while that I had to use for work one time, but I literally only used it to log into work things that I had to do from that device and uh, used my PC for everything else. Now, Linux, Linux isn't bad. I don't mind uh, doing that, especially uh, 
command line stuff. That I can handle no problem, but for whatever reason, I never got into the whole Mac OS thing. Alright, I don't think I'm going to get this in the last pass here. I think it's a little bit wider than one more swath, but we're essentially there. I'm going to turn back in here somewhat horribly. Try and circle around this tree. Get the camera out of the trees. Let's see it. Can we pick this whole pass up now? Oh, I think we're gonna get it. Perfect. Well, there you go. That's it. Another field down. So, Kason, I have not played Farming Simulator on a console, like, ever. Um, I owned it on a console, briefly and then I gave that copy away to somebody because I, I had intended to start playing over there just to see what it was all about. Uh, but at some point here, I would like to start running a, another crossplay server. We were running a crossplay server for a while so I could play with uh, people in the community that had console. Um, but when Edgewater Saskatchewan comes out for console, we're going to be setting up a uh, crossplay server for that. And uh, hopefully, oh my goodness, is there something in this little bush? Hopefully uh, being able to play multiplayer with the community, that'll be fun. So I think that's going to be my plan when, uh, the, when that map actually does release. Is out. We're going to start that off and uh, maybe start doing some kind of a multiplayer... Uh, um, I don't know, experience on that map. I know uh, ArcZ mentioned uh, doing something cross-community, uh, maybe with the FarmSim guy as well, and setting up some servers that are 100% cross-play and uh, trying things out. So that might be uh, where we go. See how it goes. And it'll be fun because there won't be any auto-drive or course play or any of those things. And so we'll be uh, required to do everything legitimately, which should be a lot of fun, should encourage, I think, a lot better multiplayer. A lot of our multiplayer member server um, maps, everybody kind of goes off and does their own thing. And so it'll be fun to um, see how much more um, grouping up to play on a farm you get, because there's a, quite a few farms on Edgewater. Um, it's it's a normal a standard size map, but there's a lot of fields and a lot of different farms around the map. So I think it's going to make a really good uh, um, crossplay server when it comes out. Yeah, it's interesting as I didn't realize, but I've got a ton of uh, console players in my community, which you know as a P I play on PC, and uh, so I'm always playing with all kinds of different maps and mods and things like that and. Um, when you try to go crossplay, you know, it's for me, it's a little bit frustrating because there's so many great uh, quality of life mods that I like to use all the time. But I would love to, I guess, force myself to go experience the game from uh, everyone else's point of view. And so we were going to we're going to be doing that. I'm going to be playing that pretty heavily, I think, when it comes out. So. Um, expect to see probably my live streams. I'm going to pull, I might even switch to doing both Tuesday, Thursday live streams on the multiplayer servers exclusively for a little while just to see how it goes. All right, I'm going to send this guy to the sell point to sell off the last of this stuff. I've harvested all the fields now. Um, we're going to start moving time forward here so that I can plant some fields. We're going to put some corn in this great big field we've got down here. So I need the time to get up to April. I don't know if I'm going to do that the hard way. We might uh, just zip it together. So I'm going to run down here. We're going to grab our tractor and then I'm going to use uh, easy dev tools to move the time forward for me. So Levi Farms, um, if you set up a dedicated server, you should be able to play with uh, Xbox, PS4, and PC players now. So I'm that's the plan, is we'll be running a, 
a uh, crossplay server here soon. Let's get this guy unfolded. I'm uh, waiting for the gravity wagons to get over and uh, unload themselves. I think I have to stop moving for this thing to actually unfold. Uh, so, Levi Farms, if you want to play uh, cross-platform, I believe you have to use a dedicated server. And so in order to do that, you'll have to engage with one of the third-party services um, that host servers. So in my case, I'm actually a partner with uh, G Portal. So if you look in the description of the video, there's a link to um, G Portal. In fact, I think it's the first thing right at the, the bottom of the video there. Um, and you can host a server there for a few dollars a month. I've got, um, if you if you click that link that's in my description, you get 10% off of uh, uh, what they charge for servers. And they charge based on how many slot counts you, you use. So, you know, you can start as low as four players on a server and go all the way up to 16. And so at four players, I don't remember, but it's a, it's a couple bucks a month. It's, it's not a lot. All right, I'm going to zip over here. This is where I'd like to start. And uh, I already forgot. What did I say? I need to get into April for corn. All right, as soon as this uh, auto drive driver is done uh, with the selling, I'm going to do it. All right, here we go. We're moving to April. And we're going to move to April at 10 in the morning. Boom. Six months, here we go. Uh, no, Levi, so uh, with a crossplay server, you're stuck using only mods that are available on console. And so you would uh, only be able, you know, everybody on the server can only use the mods that um, are available for console users. So that is the trade off there. And let me see here, we don't have our precision farming data, so I'm going to purchase the soil information just so that we can see what we're doing here. You don't need a server. You have players on PC, PS5 and PC players on multiplayer. Um, okay, I, I have not actually hosted from a console um, and had PC players join in on that, but uh, that's very possible that it could work. I've never actually tried it. That's very cool. I was, I'm almost positive at launch that uh, Giants had told me that it was only through the dedicated servers that you could do crossplay. So it's awesome if it's uh, if that's changed at some point here, which is very cool. But uh, you definitely have to all have the same mods installed if you're uh, playing crossplay. Yeah, uh, dirt bikes, I can't stand doing the soil sampling, and compared to FS19, they've made purchasing the soil data uh, significantly cheaper, I feel like. And so I just purchase it always. Um, there's a console command, if you're on PC, uh, that you can use to um, unhide all the fields, but on multiplayer servers, I don't find it works as well, so I always just buy it through the in-game menu. But this is working great. I'm here. I'm curious to see as we get on this side hill if it uh, continues to do everything as uh, intended. Uh, Kason, I have not used the land clearing mod pack yet. I saw BC Bueller was. Uh, I think he just released it. I know he's been streaming about it uh, on his Discord and stuff a lot lately. Big Sky Farms, you've had some success with course play and so, uh, soil sampling. Oh, really? I've uh, never tried it, although I guess a lot of the, depending on what mods you're using, isn't there the ones where it'll scan the field for you while you drive? Um, I think some of the sprayers and stuff have that, so I think that's another way to uh, get that data unlocked for you. 
Oh man, this thing is struggling a bit, but then I realized I've got gears, uh, manual gear shifting turned on right now, so I've got to manage that myself a little bit. Let's gear up here. I think it's has got a 10 mile an hour max speed, so... Just grab a smallish tractor and set up a course worked quite well. Nice. I have to say, this thing is uh, working remarkably well. I like this setup a lot. That's the other thing I've been kind of doing in these live streams. And now, you know, since we're talking about console mods and stuff is um, sort of testing out different mods that I know are available on console to figure out like what my kit would be for a crossplay play server. Um, I'm thinking this uh, tractor and planter setup are definitely on that list for me. Xylobrad is a PC worth buying, so I've always been a PC gamer, so I don't even know how to um, legitimately compare. Like, in my mind, uh, um, the PC is just better for a lot of reasons, but then I'm, uh, um, I've am i always been a PC gamer, and I work on my PC. I You know, that's the only way I can really do YouTube and all the other things as well, so um, it would... In it would be difficult for me to ever go back to gaming on a console. I mean, I own an Xbox and a PlayStation, but uh, um, I don't use them hardly at all at this point. Yeah, antivirus is uh, not necessarily all it's cracked up to be. It doesn't always uh, catch everything, as I learned the hard way, but in... Uh, one of the joys of uh, being a in technology for so long is just uh, knowing how that world works. And every once in a while, you're it's inevitable you're gonna get something on your PC. So that's why backups are so important. I managed to go probably man, it's probably been over ten years since I've uh, had to deal with anything as serious as uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, Levi, yes, I've got two kids. One is about to go to college uh, later this year, and the other is in kindergarten. So a nice wide spread there. Oh, I'm loving this. It looks good. I like seeing the soil turn over here. What did I use to make the intro for my channel? I don't have an intro on my channel. I just hop on every video and say hello and welcome to Gutter Farms. I know a lot of people do channel intros and stuff where they've got, you know, flashy graphics and stuff, but uh, I'm uh, not uh, necessarily that skilled. But we might be adding some flashier stuff here at some point. I do have a handful of streaming overlays and stuff that I use. Uh, if I swap over here, right, so I can pop over here into my uh, chatting style thing. I've got a, hey, I'll be right back. I've got a, hey, the stream's going to start in a second. And then my uh, standard gameplay thing. But uh, that's just some really basic. I didn't even use Photoshop. I used a, um, a, a free program called Paint.net. Uh, to make most of my graphics originally um, that was way back when and that's uh, honestly most of my streaming overlays and stuff are from you know two years ago now almost at this point but uh, nowadays I use the Adobe suite to do all of my um, editing and graphics and stuff so I've got uh, Photoshop and Adobe Premiere and um, Adobe Illustrator and all those fancy programs oh I'm talking and not watching the driving let me see here stop I gotta go in reverse I gotta increase the crash counter Jeff some more the intro is your favorite part yeah you know it's funny is I forgot to do it like a couple in a couple videos back in the day and like people are like oh my gosh you're not getting rid of the intro are you like no I just forgot sorry that's been uh, actually it's funny is one of the challenging things I've started um, 
a second YouTube channel where I'm playing some other games. And uh, that channel I've called Keter Builds. And so it works really good because the logos can look similar and I can do a lot of the same things. And so I'm doing the same intro over there, except instead of Keterk Farms, I say Keterk Builds. Except when I don't. I've been saying welcome to Keterk Farms for so many years now uh, that I'm slipping up. I think I've slipped up in two out of the last ten videos now on the other channel. So we're, uh, we're trying. We're trying to uh, um, get something going over there. Yeah, this planter cost a couple bucks. It was uh, quite spendy, but it's got all the cool hookups for the uh, fertilizer tank and stuff. That I, I really like that it's got... Um, I'll hop out here for a second. It actually has the hose that comes out of the uh, tanks on the front and uh, runs down the planter for the fertilizer, so pretty slick. Yeah, Timo, I have a wheel. Um, I have a really nice wheel set up, but um, because I work on my computer for 12 hours a day, it's always in the way. And I got tired of, like, hooking it up and disconnecting it every time I play Farm Sim, so I just went back to playing with the keyboard and mouse all the time. But uh, I've got a whole other setup over here to my left um, that I'm planning on setting up for when I do live streams, I'll use the steering wheel and have the cameras and everything set up over there for streams. And then I can use my computer when I'm doing everything else. So it's, uh, it's gonna come soon. I'd love to get back to uh, doing a little bit of uh, American Truck Simulator again at some point. There's been a million updates to that game since I played last, and uh, um, just a ton of uh, DLCs and things, which I've actually bought most of those DLCs, even though I haven't played. So one of these days I'll have to get back over there and try and stream. We're going to gear down here a little bit. The uh, hill is insane. But we're still pulling it five miles an hour somehow up this, uh, I mean, this hill is just monstrous. You'd never actually be pulling a piece of equipment like this on the side of this hill, I don't think. All right, I'm going to do two full headland passes, I think. Oh, we've got floating deer. How nice. Uh, Dusty Fox, what's the best advice I can give someone wanting to start a channel? Um, actually, that one's easy. Uh, just, it's kind of like, just do it, right? Uh, what's that uh, Shia LaBeouf uh, meme? But uh, seriously, the best advice I can have is to just do it and be consistent. Uh, try to post regularly, right? Um, I'm posting three videos a week over on my other channel. And, you know, I've seen... Uh, I don't know, uh, over 100 uh, of subscribers in a couple of weeks here. So, you know, you just keep posting and uh, don't worry too much about making everything fancy right out of the get-go. Just, you know, keep doing it and get a little bit better every video. And, you know, next thing you know, you've been doing it for five years and you've got, you know, 27,000 subscribers and people show up every day to uh, hang out with you. It's kind of cool. I definitely had no... Um, illusions that I was going to be some great YouTuber when I started out. You know, I'm not saying that I am now. I'm just, you know, a guy on the internet having fun and trying not to take myself too seriously. And things just kind of work out sometimes. I, I have to say, uh, um, my life has taken a lot of unexpected turns over the last few years. If you'd asked me five years ago if I'd, uh, have given up my C-level job as a CTO at a, a software company to uh, make YouTube videos in the evenings and uh, write video games during the day. I probably would have laughed at you, but here I am making video games by day and playing them by night. Works out pretty well, I'd say. I am uh, just running the planter through all this grass. I don't even know what to do. It's such an awkward shaped field. I'm just gonna <laughs> roll with it here.
I think on like flat ground in real life, this planter can get up to going like 12 miles an hour. I've seen that feels like just an insane amount of speed for a uh, planter compared to what I'm used to running at least. We're making a ton of progress on this field, though. I'm really surprised at uh, how smooth this went. Um, compared to the header, like, this is going really awesome. I know a lot of people have been complaining on UMRV because the fields are a little bit hilly in places, and uh, I know at least my tillage implement was missing a lot. But uh, based on how well this planter is performing on this map, I feel like it would handle UMRV without any problems whatsoever, so... Once we uh, get past our first year on UMRV, which I'm kind of calling the the old years, we're going to start adding some modern equipment to that map. And I'm uh, liking this setup a lot. Maybe we'll be seeing this planter show back up at some point. Because uh, none of my... I'm not, I haven't been running really modern equipment in any of my series for a while now, so we're about due for... You know, some big 9RXs, some X9s, bust out all the big bull guns. So this is mostly uh, two headland passes around all of these fields. Let's see if I can uh, find a reasonable GPS track and start doing some up down rows I think we'll get going just a little bit faster in fact I think we're just gonna grab this straight up here the way the combine went actually ended up making a lot of sense to me so let's just grab right now and call it good enough uh, we probably need to turn on the GPS, though, to do that. What planet is that that you're using? Wait, what planet is that you are using? You're using it on cancel? I'm not sure. Oh, my this planter? This planter is from JHHG Modding. It's the 2022 um, version of the... Oh, my gosh, you know what? How about this? Rather than say the wrong name, it's the 1775 2022. I'm almost positive that uh, it's uh, available on console. Most of uh, JHHG's mods that he has released are console releases. Do I have a narrower idea of what the new combine might be on my Edgewater series? Um, I don't know. We need we need more equipment on Edgewater though, for sure. Uh, Ken, I, yeah, I, I noticed that my GPS wasn't actually turned on a moment ago. appreciate the uh, reminder. Good night, Faber Farming. Appreciate you coming and hanging out. And, oh, we got to gear down. We're on the hill again. Always uh, forget to keep an eye on my uh, RPM gauge there. Oh, stranded cans, and yeah, the autocorrect gets you, and uh, having kids helps a lot with uh, sorting things out. I've got a teenager, and uh, talk. I talk to him more via text message than anything else, and autocorrect is always getting the better of us. That's uh, um, been one of the fun things of just realizing how many people, you know, watch from their phones and stuff. Uh, we were actually talking about it the other night, all of the different um, ways that my name gets autocorrected. And so I don't even notice anymore when uh, people mispronounce or mistype my name uh, from Kedrick into, you know, Kedrick or Kendrick or the, I don't know. There's all kinds of variations. It just doesn't even phase me anymore. Don't even notice it. Oh man, this hill is insane. I love it. Yeah, this planter is going to work great on Edgewater as well because um, Edgewater has some pretty bumpy fields and places. What's a program I said that I used for my graphics on my 
channel. Uh, so before I want, I started paying. The the one I use now is just Photoshop, which is you know obviously somewhat expensive. Um, the free one that I used for a long time was called Paint.net, and it worked really well. Um, I use I in fact I just stopped using it like in January of this year. I was still using it for some of my thumbnails because I had certain things set up over there that I was too lazy to learn how to do in Photoshop. So just got converted over fully to Photoshop uh, in the last month. But Spencer, how you doing, man? Let's see. I think I'm going to head all the way down to the bottom of the field here and uh, take the other path back up. Here we go. We're rocking and rolling. I guess I could toss it up a couple of gears here to get to the other end of the field. Not used to these uh, big 23 gear transmissions. I think we had either the 8 speed in our uh, like old 40 series or uh, 15 speed we had in the 4850 that I drove. And why is this line not lining up here? Oh, we're just slowly working our way over to it. The planter was probably drifting down the hill ever so slightly. Let's uh, see if I can shift us over some so we don't have this awkward strip. Not that I'm going to be here to harvest this, but, uh, you know, the perfectionist in me. Got to do it right if you're going to do it. Grandpa always said uh, any job worth doing is worth doing right. I really want to do this next pass over here where the combine couldn't manage to harvest things and see how we fare with this planter. Oh, it's going to be exciting, folks. And we're putting on a ton of uh, nitrogen here. The field was in really bad shape. And so with these uh, front tanks on here, we're doing really good. Definitely a necessity if you're... Um, using precision farming and you don't apply nitrogen at any other time putting it all down while you're planting is the way to go in my opinion not necessarily realistic but it works out pretty well let's gear it up here see if we can pick up some speed while we're going down the hill nice very nice And yeah, I'm realizing my stream overlays uh, aren't working this stream. That's another thing that got disconnected when my YouTube channel got uh, nuked. So I'm going to have to go look at that before next stream. I was very disappointed not to see all the uh, uh, notifications over there today. So that's my bad. Oh man, let's go in, Cav. Look at this hill. I would be terrified to be driving down this hill in real life. Woo! Yeah, the we're, it looks like we're staying on our track here. It looks like the previous pass is where I was off before, so that's all right. I'm less concerned with having the strip there than I am that uh, the planter didn't miss anything as we went around. Pretty cool. Oh man, I, I couldn't do it. I don't think I'd feel comfortable planting on uh, an incline like that. Definitely can't side hill something that steep. An old 1086, yeah. <laughs> That would be absolutely terrifying. All right, I'm going to try and uh, go up over this hill on the angle and see how we do as we uh, hit the crown. We're not going to be going very fast by the time we get there, but that's all right.
We have a neighbor that mows a hill like that for hay. I could see mowing it, I guess. But you're usually using a little bit smaller of a setup for that. These uh, 8RXs, I mean, they are tall. There's a lot of weight up top. Yeah, I, I actually, I used that hillside combine on Westby, I think, that Tired Iron put out. That was a lot of fun. I uh, really like that setup. But that, like, the whole combine kind of lifts and shifts the center of mass over, so it's not uh, leaning down the hill so bad. It feels like you're kind of sitting straight still, even though you're on the side of a hill. Well, we have knocked out the bulk of this field at this point. I'm going to line up here and we'll take a look at the map. I'm uh, looking at my clock. We're past 11. We're going to turn into a pumpkin here soon. I don't think I'm going to manage to finish all this field up tonight, folks. It's been a uh, it's been a long one, but it's been a good one. And uh, I appreciate everyone coming and hanging out with me tonight. But uh, I think I'd best not push it. I'm still running a fever over 100 degrees tonight, so I should probably hit the sack and get a little bit of sleep tonight. However, we should have a new episode of UMRV out tomorrow morning. So hopefully you'll be as excited for that as I was uh, recording it. Got some fun things going on there in this episode. And then uh, we've got another Edgewater Sask video coming out on Thursday. And we'll be back on the live streams Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be back over on the Western Australia multiplayer server, uh, checking out what's going on over there. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. It sounds like they've been making a lot of progress. I've seen a lot of people logged onto that server over the last several days. So uh looking forward to hopping back over there since it's been a week and seeing what everybody's been up to but uh yeah thanks for uh hanging out and uh we're gonna call it a night that's all for today Ketter out <laughs>